carpenter elbow. And, Did uh, you look that up? No, I made it up. <laughs> there's golfer elbow, there's tennis elbow. <laughs> so I got arborist carpenter elbow. So, I like uh, it, I like it. So we were going to kind of do this like me versus Holly. You know, me with the axe and Holly with the wood splitter. But now it's looking like it's going to be me with the wood splitter against Holly with the axe. Our little munchkin yelling. Hurry up! Come on! <laughs> You're too slow! <laughs> Come on, kid! You're holding us up! <laughs> Elion's getting old. Elion, you're almost six. <laughs> you starting to feel it in your joints? I can't find my car, Dad. Wow, wh what is this place? What is this magical place? <laughs> That's what everybody asks about where'd the cabin go? <laughs> Still here, sturdy as ever. Wow, that's that's a nice wood stove there. Next winter. Next gonna winter's gonna nice. be awesome. Be nice next winter. <laughs> Elion's got an attack car. That's cool. That it has a reverse. All right, so we got uh, cut up wood everywhere to split. I cut up a bunch of this stuff yesterday. So we got a bunch of just cut up wood all in this mess of a place. And uh, that's some stuff I split up a few days ago. What's this? With an ax. What is, what is this? That is Power Smart. Power Smart PS90. Six ton electric log splitter. And it's brand spanking new. We've never used it. Thanks, paper lady. Thank you, paper lady. <laughs> so uh, we are going to test this thing out and see if it'll split some of this stuff. And if it splits this stuff, then I have a whole bunch of oak land way behind the cabin back there. Then I made my chainsaw video cutting all that up and down. So we got to bring some of that over there, over here also. Okay, so. But we're going to start right here with what we got. <laughs> I'm so excited. So. To just do the first log and see how this thing works. And unfortunately, um, this is going to be kind of loud because we have to run this with the generator. And I could like have it like a hundred foot away with a hundred foot extension cord. But I don't know if that's very good for the generator. Because I don't know how much power this thing draws. It's a power smart. It is power smart. <laughs> Maybe I should go get the long cord and have this loud thing further away. Anyway, we're not going through all that trouble. It's going to sit right there and be very obnoxious. While we... Uh, Split wood in fast speed with a song playing behind us. Sweet. I'm about to put my earplugs in. <laughs>
chainsaw so I can make a longer one. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Let's find a longer one, Elion. What? Let's find a longer one. really cool in our PO box. It's pretty awesome. I actually saw this for the first time on like a Facebook ad and I was like, oh my gosh, I need one of those. It was so cool and I searched everywhere for one. One of these. <laughs> this is the coolest little thing and when you see what it does, it's amazing. So when I shared this on Chris and Holly's circle of friends on Facebook, Susan Mazik went online and she found me one. I searched Amazon, I couldn't even find one of these things. What it is, is you use this to split the firewood that you just split into kindling and it's cool. Dang right, you gotta mount it. So what it does, is there a little piece of wood that I can- It's definitely gotta be mounted. Yeah. I'm not even, yeah, I think it's like this. So what you do is you mount it, right? And then like the wood that you split, like a little a little quarter of a log or whatever, mm -hmm. you put it right here and then you push down and it splits it into kindling size pieces, which would be perfect for Elion to do. We Dang, can right? Split, we can split the wood and he can make kindling. You know what that's perfect for? Fat wood. Perfect for fat wood. Yeah. Yes. Because every I always use a stick of fat wood and I turn it into like four or five sticks. Yeah. Thinner sticks. That's perfect for that. Zombie killer. And that. Zombie killer. Oh yeah. That goes straight for the brain. You ain't surviving that. You ain't surviving a hit like that.
I guess something Elion can reach. So Elion can reach it. Because he's going to be splitting some kindling. Okay. Well, he better watch his yes, dang that's fingers. Good. Hey, hold that right there, Elion. Screws in here. And the cool thing about this wood splitter is that it's from the same person who sent me my beautiful sunflower headband, Susan Mazik. And I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Anyway, um, Susan sent us the wood splitter and the headband and um, we're gonna see how this thing works. But first, I'm gonna see if this thing will split a 20 inch piece of log. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Evidently, short piece of fat. So they have to be short. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that knot's right there. See, yeah, that bottom one is about for that length. <laughs> okay, so we're looking at like fat. six to eight inches long. Basically, like the fat wood you buy at the store. Which would be okay. good for. That would be perfect because we have to split that fat wood. Like, obviously, anything longer than that ain't gonna work. And if you're doing splinters, maybe making toothpicks, <laughs> you can use those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so since we realize that you have to have, it has to be like six to eight inches in length is, is what I'm thinking because it won't latch on to anything longer. I'm gonna go get our box of store-bought firewood, which is exactly the right length, and see every single time we use um, store, the store-bought fatwood, we have to split it into little pieces to get the fire started. So if this splits the fatwood from the store, it's perfect because that's exactly what we need to start our fires. You didn't let it go far. You didn't let it go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, just to show you how kind of impressive that is, let's try this with an axe. <laughs> Let's see if I can bust this thing with a hat. Wow. That's a long split. <laughs> you can do it! Let's see if it'll crack. No. <laughs> so that that speed versus this. You need some hydraulic speed, Chris. I need hydraulic, Use your hydraulic I need speed. hydraulic elbows. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was four. Five. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Five wax. Six wax! Six wax compared to Yeah. <laughs> Even Elion can do it. <laughs> Okay, so I went and I got three different types of wood that I can try on this kindling splitter to see what it's capable of. I got a whole branch that's about eight inches long. I got a little chunk that's about six inches long. And I got the store-bought 
fat wood. Let's see what it does. Nice chunk. All right. Let's see if it can handle a branch. I'm telling you, on the advertisement, it handled a branch. <laughs> <laughs> Bet it did. It did. All right, so. You better watch some hands. Yeah. It'll definitely cut a hand. Whoa. <laughs> Dang, right. Okay, that's cool. So the trick is to get it just stuck into the top there so it doesn't slide. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Dang, right. <laughs> okay, so the branch definitely handled the branch. I'm more interested in splitting the fat wood. Cool. Let me do a piece of fat wood. Okay. That's what I'm excited about. <laughs> You're excited about the flat, fat wood? I cut, I cut a lot of fat wood with an axe, like a ton of it. It handled the, this is a hardwood chunk. So it handled the hardwood. Perfect. And now Chris is gonna try the fat wood because we, you literally split fat wood every single day yeah. to start a fire. Well, let me show something else first. All right, so usually, this is actually a large piece of fat wood. Yeah, I, I got the large one. That's on larger purpose. than usual. Usually I'll take a piece about that size, actually even smaller than that. And, uh, I'll come over here to the chopping block like this. Oh, this is how you usually do it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, because, I mean, God, that's a lot of wood right there. Mm -hmm. You can turn this yeah, that's into, like, yeah, that's... you can turn this into a lot. So I just sit here like this and I just split it into, I usually go with a piece about like that to start a fire. So I'll go with a piece like that, and then I'll just cut it in about four or six pieces or something. However many pieces. Like, that's ideal. That's an ideal piece of fat wood right there to start it. So it's like a fat wood toothpick. Yeah. <laughs> I just sit there and I cut it in little slices. It, that looks like it takes forever. It starts easier, and it's easier to catch on fire and with... These compared to this, that's going to burn a lot hotter. Starts your fire a lot better. So I just turn a piece of fat wood into a lot of fat wood. And then you, if you start this little pile on fire, that is a hot little, that's little a base. hot, that's very a hot base. little base mm -hmm. to start a fire with. Too bad there's not a better way. So let's <laughs> see if it is. <laughs> so now we'll put this on here. See if it makes it any easier. That is so cool. <laughs> oh yeah. And you notice a piece didn't even fly where I had to go pick it up. Yeah. I'm always chasing them. I hit uh, them with an axe and it's like Phew. That's so cool. So then I, I like I watch it and then I go get it so I don't lose it. <laughs> Playing kindling fetch all day. A little long there. So. Oh yeah, very nice. <laughs> and a whole lot safer. That is awesome. A lot safer than that axe. Yeah, we could teach Elion to do this. He could split all of our kindling for us. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. Wow. Not a bad little device here. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Susan. This is pretty awesome. Cool. But uh, yeah. That's awesome. Look at that. Perfect. That's actually nicer than the axe. Having these little pieces hanging off where it kind of yep. tears it, yep. those help it catch on fire a lot easier. <laughs> Thank you.
I actually love the branches because they're really hard for me to cut with the ax because, you know, they're so little. So we usually just throw them on the fire, just like the way they are. But I love that I can cut these little branches. Oh, look at that. See, that, see what I just did mm -hmm. right there? <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. Dang, right? Yeah. Like if I got, if, if you got a big pile of these, these are perfect for the, um, the little wood burner. Oh the yeah. The little wood stove. Well, yeah. Perfect. Dang, right. Obviously handles the pine really well. I mean, I guess that's some, it's got to be some sort of pine, right? It smells like oh, it smells yeah, definitely. So yeah, it's, it's one of them weird trees that grow like bent over. They're, well, that's a sourwood tree. No, no, that ain't that type of bark. You seen the bark on it? Yeah. All right, so we obviously know that it can handle pine. Some kind of pine. It's like some hard freaking pine or something. But um, yeah. But the real to, test. Because I was just, I was just, I don't know if you've seen me on camera, but I just struggled with that piece of big oak, uh -huh. you know, busting that with the axe. So I wonder if that thing will split some of this for us. Because this stuff's the real struggle. I mean, as you can see, I'm sitting there busting those with the axe with no problem. Yeah. But then when it came to the oak, I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so I guess we could roll some of this over there. It's so big and heavy, you can't really carry it. That's gigantic. So we have to just roll them. Well, that's another thing too. The splitter says... Nothing more than... 10 inches. And these are more like 12 to 14 to even bigger. <laughs> But I think that doesn't matter. I don't know, let's find out. Let's see if it'll bust some oak.
impressed. I, it's doing better than I thought it was. Thumb's gonna hurt after this. <laughs> He's having trouble holding that button down. Oh yeah, you getting the thumb workout? Yeah. I think there's a raindrop too. It likes this stuff. Yeah. It's mine. 